This is your introduction to your Natural Forms 2D needle felting project. So this is a flat two-dimensional project you'll be creating. You're going to apply the process of 2D needle felting to create an image of a natural form with a background color or a series of colors for the background. This project does require you to think a little bit like a painter because you'll be layering the colors of wool. These are some examples of natural forms that use the felting process. You're going to use a combination of at least five to six colors of roving wool, layering colors to create a range of values. So you'll likely be creating some dark values as well as lighter values. You're going to use the roving wool and needle felting to create a variety of shapes and details. And you're going to use excellent craftsmanship with the materials by removing stray fibers, keeping all shapes flat, and creating a product that looks well made. So here are some examples of needle felted artworks that use natural forms. These are similar to our project, but the background will not be complicated. And again, the visual focus for this project is the natural form. So the focus of this particular composition is this natural form. Now this is much more complicated. This is not quite what we are doing, but it does use the needle felting method. Your background will have a single color or a gradation of colors. And remember the results of this project will be two dimensional. So for this example here, the background uses a variety of colors. You'll be using a reference photo to reproduce realism and details. Now this project is inspired by paintings created by Georgia O'Keeffe. And a lot of her paintings, they were often up close images of flowers, bones, seashells. And we have some paintings here of flowers. This is a painting she's done of seashells and they do focus on natural forms. Now, some examples of natural forms. We have seashells, we have seed pods. So these are all examples of natural forms. Um, more seed pods, twigs, rocks, leaves, flowers, cactus, flowers, leaves. So when I say natural forms, I'm imagining seashells, leaves, flowers, seed pods. So begin by brainstorming natural forms that interest you. Where do we find those forms? How do you feel connected to them? Maybe you're more of a desert person and you like cactuses. Maybe you're looking forward to spring or you're very connected to the ocean. So you think of seashells or uh, tropical flowers, right? You wanna think of natural forms that you feel personally connected to. Now you will be looking for reference photos. So here are some tips. Focus on just one object. So for example, look for a photo that has just one seashell rather than a pile of seashells. Or let's say you're thinking about using a leaf, focus on a photo of one leaf instead of the entire tree or the branch that has all of the leaves. Cause we're really just trying to focus on one object and bringing attention to the beauty of the natural form. No animals, no landscapes, and no food. Animals, um, that just gets too complicated. Landscapes, that's also too complicated and no food. Yes, you can crop your photo. So if you find a photo that you like, you can crop it so you can remove things out of it. You're not gonna be recreating the background, okay? So you might find a great photo, but don't think, oh my gosh, the background, I don't like it. You're not gonna recreate the background. So we wanna find a photo of an object where we can easily see the object. We should see the entire object in the photo. Consider the colors that you see, cause you'll be recreating those colors to the best of your ability using the roving wool. And as you already know, we only have certain types of colors with the wool. Look for a high quality photo. Please use the websites suggested by me. Do not just use a Google search. You're not gonna find very good photos. You might find someone's photo that has um, watermarks all over it, which means you can't easily just copy and save it. So look for high quality photos. and. For this project, you likely only need one reference photo since you'll be recreating the form, you're recreating the image using needle felting. 
So these are two great reference photo websites. One is called unsplash.com. The other one is called pexels.com. And be aware you'll be submitting your reference photo as an assignment. You'll be putting your reference photo into this assignment in Canvas. But the better that you, uh, the better words that you use, you'll get different results, right? Like this is starting to get something, even this. What's nice is the background's dark, but this helps us focus on just the form, right? This doesn't work because it has all these other objects in there. Now, what's cool about using uh, pexel, pexels.com and unsplash.com is yes, you find one idea, but then it gives you other ideas and other things you can search for. So for my example, I'm thinking of succulents because to me, they're a very calming looking plant. Also, they're kind of hard to kill. So the problem with these two pictures here is this is just way too dark. We can hardly see the form and yes, it looks abstracted, but we can't recognize it. It's just too dark. Also, parts of this is blurred. Problem with this photo here is there's just too many succulents. How do I know which one to focus on? Even if I crop it, I'm not gonna get a very nice image because they're all kind of covered by each other. These two photos also don't work. The problem with this is there's just, it's too much of a silhouette and how are you gonna make this out of needle felting, right? Yes, I could crop the image, but there's just way too much going on. Even here, while I like this particular plant, the background, it's just too busy and I just don't particularly like the point of view. So these are two not very good images. Now these two images have possibility. With this one, I can easily crop it. So we just see this part of the plant. We're not, I'm not going to even include the surface it's on. This one has a possibility as well. But again, as I look at this image, I have to think, okay, am I up for the task of creating all of these different edges of the colors? Now these also also have a possibility. This one might be just too cropped. And again, it gets a little too complicated right here, but this one has a possibility. Your next step after you find your reference photos is you're going to create a fully rendered sketch in color of your natural form. So you're not moving into the needle felting process yet. I'm having you do this so you can begin to figure out the shapes that you'll need to create because you do have to take your image and, and uh, deconstruct it into shapes. You also need to determine your background color or your colors. Also, you need to figure out the colors that you'll need for your natural form. And be aware this sketch will be the same size as your actual artwork.